。好，十四到第十六條呢，就係、是、留下呢個實驗嘅。今次我哋就想調查一下啦，唔同嘅環境因素對棵植物嘅失水速度呢，有啲咩嘅影響嘅。咁今次我哋就唔係用嗰啲咩 p o t o m e t e r 嘅，今次呢，我哋就將呢個植物啦擺喺一兜紅色嘅墨水個雪。咁啊，由佢擺五個鐘，跟住呢，就睇下佢吸咗幾多嘅紅色墨水啦。咁而家啦，綠色嘅部分呢，其實就係到頭來我哋點樣去獲得個結果嘅，未問住嘅，所以我就唔解釋住，去到留下嗰條呢，我再解釋返。咁成條題目其實都係考返我哋失水嘅概念啫，透過蒸騰作用去產生蒸騰牽引力，幫助棵植物呢喺呢個木質部呢去運送水同埋呢個礦物質，同一時間啦，亦都幫助棵植物呢去吸水嘅。所以啦，當我哋容許佢擺喺唔同嘅環境因素，例如啦喺唔同嘅光度啊、唔同嘅風速嘅情況底下呢，當棵植物啦失咗一定份量嘅水嘅時候啦，究竟佢能夠吸到幾多水呢？咁而家啦，睇返第十四條啦，佢今次呢就係問返一啲 precaution 嘅嘢啊，就係當我哋預備呢個實驗嘅時候呢，有啲咩嘢呢？我哋要做嘅，我哋要好小心留意嘅。所以陣間我哋所做嘅任何 precaution 呢，都係為咗令到嗰啲紅色嘅墨水呢，係能夠好順利地入到嗰個植物嘅 stem 嘅樹嘅。咁而家第一個啦，佢就話啦，查返啲花市檸啦，就查喺個葉底個樹。咁咩步驟呢？其實係唔需要嘅。咁其實做完呢一步呢，係夾硬地將棵植物嘅失水速度同吸水速度呢係減慢咗嘅。咁即係話做五個鐘呢，係未必做得到嘅。咁所以呢個步驟呢，其實真係冇乜必要。除非個實驗呢，就唔係想睇個 leafy shoot 嘅失水咁簡單，而係好聚焦地想知道由個葉面呢所失嘅水。嗱，如果佢就係想知道葉面所失嘅水呢，佢就查返啲花市檸喺葉底呢，咁就情有可原嘅。但而家冇講過啊嘛，我就係想知道成棵植物失水速度啫嘛，所以你唔需要無啦啦呢，走去抿走咗葉底嗰啲氣孔去嘅。去到第二步啦，就唔該你加浸油啦，喺邊啊？喺嗰個紅色嘅墨水個樹，即係呢度你加浸油俾佢。喎。咁呢個步驟呢，係需要嘅，因為呢，我哋係防止呢嗰啲紅色嘅墨水呢。蒸發咗佢，今次就話 observe 下喺個 stem 入面吸到幾多水啫。等佢去到下次，我係想 observe 下啦，究竟個水位跌咗幾多？咁咪唔準咯個實驗，係咪？所以我哋確保呢嗰啲紅色嘅水呢，之所以少咗冇咗佢呢，係因為真係被棵植物呢吸咗佢嘅。所以第二句呢係正確嘅。去到第三句呢，見咗一千萬次啦，應該記住啦，將個 leafy shoot 嘅 lower end 個底部呢，就擺個紅色墨水嗰樹先好去 cut 佢。喎。擺到明啦，因為呢，我哋要確保嗰個 s i l o m e s h 呢木質部呢，係唔會俾啲氣泡阻鬼住佢啊嘛，一定要入得到嘅呢，就係嗰啲紅色嘅墨水，係確保一個流通嘅水流啊嘛，所以第三句呢，都係正確嘅。所以咧，答案呢就係二三 D 啦。咁呢條題目有啲咩嘅變奏呢？就由 M C 變成一個長題囉，就係、是、要你去解釋一下點解我哋要將呢個 lower end of the leafy shoot 呢喺個紅色墨水嗰度去切佢出嚟。咁啱啱啦，亦都解釋咗俾大家聽。我哋唔想有氣泡入咗去個木質部，阻住咗嗰個水流。阻住咗嘅話啦，咁我就睇唔到呢究竟棵植物吸咗幾多水，從而去估算返佢嘅失水速度啦。Questions 14 to 16 refer to the setup below, which is used to investigate the effect of environmental factors on the transpiration rate of a leafy shoot. So this time we are not using the photometer. We put the leafy shoot into a beaker of red c o l o r solution. So this red dye, they can go to the silo vessel. After five hours, so we can do the measurement to estimate the transpiration rate under different environmental conditions. And for the green part here is about the measurement. But for the question 14, it's not asking the measurement. So I will put it in the question 15 to talk about this. And for the whole question, actually, it's just checking the concept of water loss, transpiration. So it can create a transpiration pool for the transport of water and minerals in the silent vessel. And also it helps the absorption of water by the root. So we can investigate the effect of different environmental factors. For example, light intensity or the wind speed or the temperature. And once the leafy should lose some water, there will be a transpiration pool to absorb the water from the red colored solution. And in question 14, it's asking the precaution. Any step we need to do when preparing the setup. 
So remember that the precaution, it means that before we do the experiment, what thing we need to be careful. So all the precaution in this setup, just would like to make sure the red color solution, they can enter the leafy shoot smoothly, particularly enter the xylem vessels. Meanwhile, it can help us to estimate the transpiration rate of the leafy shoot. Okay. So for the step one, smear the Vaseline onto the lower surface of the leaves. Actually, this the some say actually this step is not necessary because it will just slow down the transpiration and the water absorption so that's why we may need to take maybe more than five hours maybe 10 hours to get the result unless the experiment is not investigating the transpiration rate of the leafy shoot is investigating the water loss from the upper leaf surface if so it's reasonable to smear the vaseline on the lower surface of the leaves otherwise so it will just slow down the experiment to be finished so it will make the results not that accurate so that's why statement one is wrong and for the statement number two we need to add a layer of oil on the surface of the red color solution in order to prevent the evaporation of water from the red color solution it's just like in the potometer in the water we serve so we need to add a layer of oil to prevent the water evaporation otherwise someone may challenge that the water level of the red color solution lower because they evaporate not due to the absorption of water so that's why for the second step it is necessary and for step three we need to cut the lower end of the leafy shoot under the red color solution so i guess that you guys read this statement for many many times it is necessary for the experiment because we need to make sure there is a continuous water stream along the xylem vessels make sure that there is no bubble formed in the xylem vessel otherwise there will be no water transport at all and then there will be no observation in this experiment so that's why this step is also necessary so that's why the answer is d and for the possible question variation it can be changed from the mc question to the structural question and i focus on statement three explain why the lower end of the leafy shoot is cut under the red color solution and the reason i have already mentioned here